This is where the Oakland A's plan to build their new ballpark and resort, replacing the Tropicana, which will be imploded this fall. Almost four years before bat meets ball here on opening day, the soon to be Las Vegas A's are planning roots in their future home right now. The A's came in two days ago with a check for the Public Education Foundation for $30,000. Along with a donation, A's Chief of Staff Miguel Duarte talked about the team's move during Friday's Latin Chamber of Commerce luncheon. Our relocation to Las Vegas brings many exciting opportunities to expand the destination's rich history and appreciation for baseball. Earlier this year, we released the red rings for our beautiful 30,000 seat ballpark right there that you see there. Duarte stressed the A's commitments to helping local small businesses and all Las Vegans. We have started to create meaningful connections with various Little League teams throughout the community and remain committed to baseball development activities for our youth. We've also supported organizations throughout the destination to share our commitment to enriching the lives of its community members. How do you think the A's are going to be embracing this community across the valley uh, once they arrive? I think they're going to, I mean, it's already demonstrated, right, that if you really want to gain roots in a community, you got to get out there, you got to sort of win over the public. It makes sense, but it is genuine. They're going to, you know, be a part of the community, and I think Vegas will adopt them just like they have all the other teams. It's been a long road for the A's to get the green light to bring Major League Baseball to town, but the team hasn't won over every Vegas local. I don't think the south end of the Strip is an area that needs further traffic, congestion, and job loss. We are Vegas strong. The Golden Knights laid the foundation of building community support upon arrival. But like the Raiders, the A's aren't Vegas born. VGK president Kerry Bubles believes the athletics have paved a four year head start. They're doing it the right way, right? You got to have a presence here in the market. You got to be out in the community and uh, give them a lot of credit. John Fisher, their owner, uh, he really has come to us and said, hey, we, we've seen your playbook. We like what you've done. Help us, give us some thoughts and ideas. I'm like a lot of people. I got a free hat here today and I can't wait for 2028. The A's hope to begin playing here in Las Vegas in 2028 after hosting games in Sacramento for the next three seasons. From the Strip, I'm Nick Walters.